Yeah. Uh, reason why I do this, this is probably one of this, like, you know, it's the beginning of many, but Texas is open. The Texas governor came out today and said officially March 10th, they will be opening up to 100% capacity and he is lifting the mask mandate. Mines has had enough of the mask. Mines has had enough of outdoor dining. Man said, yo, pull up everyone. And right behind him is Mississippi governor. He's also saying that Mississippi will also follow suit and be 100% open. Um, so it's just, we're seeing a little trend. I want to know what you think about this little trend um, that's going on right now. A couple states opening up. Uh, so Governor Abbott in Texas said something that I agree with when he said that it is still everybody's personal responsibility yes. to be safe. Yes. Which it is in every state, regardless of what you're your state governor, state government or governor is mandated. However, Texas has just shown like a history of the, their representatives ain't not being shit. Like, you know, Ted Cruz flying away and leaving his constituents without water and heat during, you know, an ice storm. And, and now Governor Abbott, I understand what he's saying, but they just don't know how to communicate really well. He's saying, hey, like businesses need to be flourishing again. Too many people are broke. Too many people are unemployed. We need to open businesses back up. Yeah, now we don't have mask mandates. But the thing I just mentioned before where he said, hey, it's your personal responsibility to take, take, still take care of yourself and your family. That's not what's really getting the headline. It's just that everything's 100% open. 100%. Which and I had to scroll down deep for that quote. Exactly. And I just wanted to see where that was. But I still think, you know, the message, I think this is the pattern. I think I've always agreed with this way of kind of things to protect yourself. And, and mm -hmm. I think things should be open. I do. Um, I don't see why things should not be open right now. I think um, things should be open. Uh, when I think about 100% open, like, like think about times that you went to, you went to a brunch. Or you went to a yeah, party. Yeah, we don't need that. We don't need those. We don't need those. Where it's like uh, on shoulder top of to each other. Yeah. Like can, chair, can... table to table. Like, I I don't know if that's something I'll be 100% comfortable no, with. No, we can go 75%. Let's go 75% open. But then what is, like, these percentages also, like, who's really <laughs> accountable to these percentages? Right, right, like, right, right. Which is why it's just open. Yeah, exactly. I, like, I get that. Because, like, you can say, hey, I'm at 25%. Hey, I'm at 31%. I'm at 323 It's like, what the fuck? Like, what is, like, what is, yeah. what does that percentage look like in your establishment, right? So, I understand, like, the 100% open thing. I, I, I think you can be 100% open and, like, remove seating so that people have space. Because, honestly, during this whole pandemic, I'm, I'm very comfortable now that people don't sit next to me. Extremely. It's a good time. Good Fucking time. love it. Yeah, yeah, we know you had to. I love that people just can't get close to me now. Yeah. And, it, and they don't do it because they worry about me having COVID. They worry about themselves having COVID. And I fucking love it. So don't ever come back close to me ever again, strangers. Yeah. Please yeah. stay away They're pulling all up. the time. Pulling up. Even after COVID. Even after COVID. <laughs> Even after COVID, strangers, stay away, please. How, how do you think this is going to fare out? Um, do you think other suits, other states will follow? Yeah. Do you think that other states should follow? Yeah. Um, okay, cool. I do. Because I, okay. I think that I'm, 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 I've become like a little bit more realistic when it comes to this COVID shit. People are over it. People are over it. People over, I'm over wearing masks. I'm, I still wear a mask everywhere I go publicly, but I fucking hate wearing a mask. I hate it. I hate yeah, it. It's it's making my skin oily. I hate, and, and I hate everyone who's wearing one. Yeah, yeah. Huh? And I hate everyone who's wearing it too. I just hate, I hate it. I just like, hate it. Hate I hate doing it. This. But I still know that we got to wear it. You know, so I'm going to wear it. Um, and you know, it's just that time people are sick of it. Yeah. And it's when people are sick of something, they just move on past it. And I think people are, the numbers are just so high after the past like year and a half, over half a million people dead because of COVID just in the United States. We don't know how to, we don't know how to quantify these numbers as regular people, especially people that haven't like seeing people that we know close to us pass away from COVID. I know people that have gotten really sick from it, but I don't know anybody that's passed away from COVID. Right. So like, we're not close to it. We don't, we haven't felt it. Right. So how could we feel that number? Yeah. What does that number really mean? 
Jeez. Doesn't it just? It's just something that people have to report because they have to report it, right? It's a number, so you got to tell us what it is on the news. So I, so I just numbers get it. have been being reported for for. It's just another. It's just another stat. You know what I'm yeah. saying they they tell us how many people die a day. We never see that. It was alarming the first time. Like the first few, like the first month, it was kind of alarming. No, yeah, yeah, for sure. For no, no, no. The numbers, the numbers. That was a real thing. I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna go on record. But <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I think it's, I think it's an interesting time. Um, and shout out to Texas for just being that brave. I don't know. Shout out to Texas. I, I I think that they are just not. I think it's it's it's, it's double edged, right? Because they're encouraging people to get back to business and open their businesses and make money again. At the same time, when these businesses were struggling, they didn't do shit for them. So it's it's kind of like the government saying, we didn't do shit for you. We're still in the position to do shit for you. But we're in the position to tell you to open back up and go back to 100%. And yeah, we're going to sacrifice a few lives. But sacrificing those lives and sacrificing those people getting sick is easier for us to do than for us to come up out our pocket and help the businesses in our community. So I think about it from that angle also. I can feel that angle. I can feel that angle. Yeah. Because it's just easy to pass the buck and then say, hey, it's your personal responsibility. To make when you're supposed to be a, a, an organization that institutes laws and policies for the greater good and not one person. So, you know, Texas politicians are are fucking idiots. The people who voted them in multiple times are fucking idiots. And they're going to get whatever that comes to them. <laughs> <laughs> they are. <laughs> Why did you snap on the people that voted them in? Because it's one time, it's one thing if you vote, vote somebody in one time and you make a mistake, like you make a bad choice, but like the governor and then Another Ted Cruz, round. let's do it. Let's run it back. Yeah. Let's run it back with this fucking clown. Like, and you're a fucking clown too. You're yeah. part of the circus as well. That's pretty much how politics go. It's uh, uh, essentially. 